So in this video, I quickly wanted to look at one of the hardest types of problems you may see on the ASVAB and PiCat. It says a boat goes twice as fast downstream as it can go upstream and two thirds as fast upstream as it can go in calm water. If it goes 40 miles per hour downstream, how long will it take to travel 60 miles in calm water? So at first glance, you're probably saying to yourself, well, I'm probably going to need the distance formula to solve this one since there are some key words that are prompting me to think about the distance formula. Again, the distance formula is distance equals rate times time. And what elements of the distance formula do we have right here? How long is in reference to time to travel 60 miles? Well, 60 miles is a distance in calm water. Well, we need to know the rate of the boat in calm water. So we do have all the elements of the distance formula, as you can now see. That said, in order to figure out the rate of the boat in calm water, we're going to have to work backwards here. Again, we're given information about the boat as it travels downstream, which I'm going to call DS, upstream, which I'm going to call US, and in calm water, which I'm going to call C. More specifically, right here, we're told that it goes 40 miles per hour downstream. In addition, we're told right here, that it goes twice as fast downstream as it can go upstream. In other words, this 40 miles per hour is twice as fast as it goes upstream, while 20 miles per hour times two is 40. All right, so now we figured out how fast it goes downstream and upstream. Let's try to figure out its rate in calm water. And in order to figure out its rate in calm water, we're gonna use this information right here goes two thirds as fast upstream as it can go in calm water. In other words, this 20 miles per hour is gonna be equal to two thirds of its rate in calm water. Uh, so in order to figure out what C is, we're gonna just get rid of this two thirds by multiplying both sides of this small equation by its reciprocal. It crosses out leaving you with C on this side. Uh, let's do this math right here. Uh, we're multiplying two fractions, so we're gonna multiply straight across. 3 times 20 is going to be 60. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. 60 divided by 2 is just 30. So the rate of the boat in calm water is 30 miles per hour. So now we have all the information we need to solve this one using the distance formula. All right, so let's start plugging things in. Again, we know uh, the boat traveled a distance of 60 miles, so we'll put 60 in for D. We now know that its rate in calm water is going to be 30 miles per hour. So we'll plug in 30 for R, and this is times T. All we're doing is dividing both sides by 30 to get T by itself. This crosses out, leaving you with T over here. 60 divided by 30 is 2. In other words, it's going to take this boat two hours to cover 60 miles. So this one is C. Konnichiwa.